Hordmost Prime Reviews, going hard, Panther. Here comes the latest review by Hodmus Prime. Good day, everyone. This is John Bart, Hodmus Prime Reviews. As always, wishing you all the very best. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe if you like and enjoy the content I provide, which I thoroughly hope you do. I'm so excited. Thank you in demand. It turned up, my pre-order. I'm hoping that's what's in here. <laughs> uh, I do believe this is something pretty special. Pretty, pretty special. So if you bear with me in a second... I'll come back, I'll have undone him, and we can see together what's going on. But also, before I go to that, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, if you like and join the content provider, which I probably hope you do, as I've already said. And please, please, please feel free to join the Facebook group, Hobmas Prime Reviews, and also feel free to join the TikTok and the YouTube channel as you're watching it, the Hobmas Prime Reviews, both same name. Thank you very much. Two seconds, we'll be back. Peace out. And if you can guess what it is, ta-da! It is my Golden Disc Collection, Beast Wars. They say it's like the Gold Disc Collection, but it's Beast Wars Pterosaur. Look at him. It's a heavy retool with some slight tweaks and modifications of this poor girl. If you haven't seen my review for Air Razor, please feel free to check it out on the Kingdom Playlist. Playlist? My God, I'm sorry. I've had some whiskies. It's the festive season. I don't know why I've gone bloody Australian again, but here we go. As you can see, this is the packaging. I got it from Indemand Toys. It says Transformers Takara Tomi, Golden Disc Collection, Pterosaur, War for Cybertron Kingdom. It says Hasbro 8 Plus. You've got the gold disc on the side. You've got the lovely Kingdom style back background there with the Predacon symbol there. And you've got him in some awesome dynamic poses. Loads of things and set, words and bits and bobs. Deluxe class, a classic deluxe. Deluxe a class A, class A Deluxe, class A Deluxe. And as you can see, bits and bobs. So let's free him from his prison, shall we? So let's get that away. We don't need that there. Here we go. Bing, bang, bosh. As I say, anyone's allowed to watch my videos, but any kids or anyone who's just not able to do it, please seek the help and assistance of someone who is able to get it out for you. As you can see, that's what's in the box. So put that there. But as you can see, this is Pterosaur freed of his prison. He comes with the instructions, instructione. And as you can see, it's going for the modern thing. You get I'm so happy for this. I'm so glad I didn't buy the third party gold disc because I've got one. It's got his awesome gun. And as you can see, there's a little package here. So don't throw that away. And I'll show you why. A lot of people have been throwing it away and going, oh no, I've got a root through the bin or trash if you're American. And it's like, always check the back, guys and gals. Because watch, watch. Wait for it, wait for it. And I flicked them. <laughs> These are the little spiky blades that go on Pterosaur's elbows. So let's free him from his prison. There's the gold disc. I couldn't do it, but I don't see the point. May as well just cut it. So there we go. Come on, I don't want to scratch the paint. Thought the gun broke then, it made a very strange feeling. Thank God, it's just the feel of the gun. <laughs> Woo, that was a butt blister moment. So obviously, his legs are like that, it's just Jimmy rigging through. And my wings have fell off. What the fudge? Let's get all the bits of rubbish out of the way. I really need to tidy my studio. As you can see, I hope that's not going to keep falling off because that will pee me off because it looks very loose. Great. So it better not keep coming off. Well, it's in position. It feels solid enough. But let's not look at that as a negative. See, so here you go. So, oh man. Man, 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 man. I've been so, so glad this 
I got this apart from my wings are a bit floppy. Oh man, that bloody wing's going to be an annoying thing and I don't want to glue it because then you're not going to be able to pose it. I might have to contact in demand and ask for another one because that is pants. It doesn't even stay on. That is a massive QC issue. I'm not happy about that. It's not their fault, right? It's Hasbro, but this whole wing assembly is a bit pants. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Hopefully we can rectify it. But as you can see, if I can get his wing to lock, there we go. You get him to go. And it comes in this version, in this mode. So I'm going to hard pan for him in a minute. So we'll sit in there. You can angle his head. Let's put the wings back down if I dare. So you can have him sat like that. He does have some, we'll get straight into it. He has, look at that nice eye there. He does have uh, articulation in the mouth. We've got the nice painted detail on the eye, which I do like. The head, you can move up and down a bit due to transformation. You can, if your wing's not floppy, got a fault line. I'm so pissed off. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm pissed off. It's got a dodgy wing. I was lucky with my air razor. A few people said they had a dodgy wing. They've obviously, on this mould, kept the same issue. But uh, let's have a look, see what I can do with it in a bit. But there you go, so you can get some dynamic flyby poses. And get him. See? He is, you know, sweet now. Still pretty sweet. So I'm just going to sit him down for a minute if he doesn't fall apart again. I can't sort that wing, I will have to message in demand to see what they can do. As you can see here, but it's something I suppose I can live with as long as that's the only issue. Sod it, don't want to cause them guys any hassle. The sounds of earth. See, it's got the nice indent there. The nice like gold disc. The only thing is no, I wish they'd made him with like an open hand so they could hold it. But it's an added extra that you wanted. I mean, obviously you get the arc, it comes with it. And here, we'll have a look at his gum. Focus. Here you go, you got his gun. Does look awesome. And I do believe it can. I don't know why you would put it on here, but me personally, I won't be because it's going to be, I like the beast mode, obviously, but it's going to be displayed in bot mode anyway, but you can put it there. Or you can put it at the other side. It's your choice. There's a little slit here. I wonder. Or you can put it there. See, there you go. But, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. So, as you say, it comes with the instructions. I'm going to hard pan for it. Let's see how we go. So, obviously, if he is similar, if I can remember Aries, it was a while ago. So, don't you pull these out? Pull that down. Um, pull that up. Ah, yes. Yeah, spin that round. Spin the legs round. Spin the leg round. And then, remember correctly, pull the arms out. Pull the arms out. And then pull that down. If I can remember how to get this bit out. Oh man. I don't want to use scissors and scratch his paint, but let's try this. Because I am hard pampering it, I don't want to scratch the paint, so I'm going to turn his face. Turn his face so it doesn't scratch the paint. I'll just excuse that, it's my missus talking to the guinea pigs in the back room. <laughs> but, uh, yep, yeah, there we go, that goes down. So, this comes forward, that was it. And that clicks into place. Straighten the wrist, bend it round. Straighten the wrist, bend it round. And twist the feet round, twist the feet round. And then you put the head down. You can have that up whatever way you want, I suppose, but you have it down. You'll see here if it's like air razor, which it is, just go like that, that and that peg should 
go in there and then if you haven't got dodgy wings like mine <laughs> as long as I can pose it in beast in bot mode oh man that feels like it's gonna come off it feels like it's gonna break is it just gonna pop out if it just pops out I can live with that so it just add to the thing of the figure <laughs> There we go. See, hard pamphered. Let's see on the back if that's how he's meant to look. Yep, because you can have his wings out further like that. But me, probably will have him like that so he looks all cushed up and daddy. But I'm going to show you where these go. So you see, like on Air Razor, she has a photon blaster things you can make this guy have the old wolverine claws or like giver got the old giver slash rc blades on his arm but yeah freaking sweet apart from that issue with the wings i'm not too i won't be transforming him a lot because i'm a bit worried on my version about the wings they don't feel very strong on the wings which is a bit of a downer because I hope if you've got this figure or going to get this figure, you don't have the same issue. But let's have a look at it. So you see here, you've got the awesome Predacon symbol. You've got the nice black paint. Let's have a close look at that noggin. I can tilt his up. See if I can get more light onto him. No, my... I record on my phone. My phone is dying, so it's plugged in on charge. It won't let me use the flash. So... You just have to take my word for it. Instead of having yellow eyes, it looks gold. It looks like it does look like a gold. Oh, it is yellow, but it just looked a bit gold in this light. It is yellow, so it's true to the original. And he has got his iconic blaster. And again, like I say, this is, he's got the lovely silver paint going on here, silver paint and gray there. So he's looking freaking sweet, freaking sweet. But, yeah, so let's go for articulation. So, like I say, if you've seen it, got air raised or seen it, you've got a little bit on the waist. If you pull that back bit out, you can have full waist rotation due to transformation, but that means you have to kick, which isn't a big thing. You can just push that back up. If you push that back up, it doesn't really affect anything. So you could have it up like that unlike you know some of the other bots I mean air razor you kick her tail up you can get the same but she's meant to have her tail down so and I've just totally balls that up so it's mistransformed it now but never mind but pterosaur's got this lovely lush red and it, it, it does feel nice in hand but I just worry that I feel I hope he's not flimsy but I've wanted pterosaur because I want to complete the original Beast, you know, the Predacons. But uh, I just worry about the, that wing. It doesn't feel very strong. And I've seen the people going, oh, mine's, you know, my air rays are broke, this, that, the other, and that. And I'm like, wow, I had no, no issues, thank you, with mine. But thankfully, but wait, just hit my camera. But, you know, this guy, I don't want him to break. So I'm not, not be able to be struggling like hell to get him again. So, let's go for articulation. His arm goes out, goes all the way round, because there again, he does have elbow rotation. He's on a butterfly joint, almost. Well, he's on a ball joint. He can go out and everything, go up to that angle. And he does have that there, and you can do transformation, bend at the wrist, and he can twist like so. So there you go. And his head can look up, can look down, can turn, which to you guys will be to the right, but it's to it be his left, and he can do that. And it doesn't have no ab crunch, but like I said, if you pull that up at the back, or you leave it down, you know, it's up to you, it's your choice. But you pull it up at the back, you get full rotation there. You can do what you want with that. He can lift that up for some reason. I don't know why. He can... <laughs> Pterosaur boat. Predacon. Penis. <laughs> Boner alert. 
Maybe when he sees Black Arachne here, he goes... <laughs> Don't know why they did that. It's a pretty pointless feature. Someone must have been a bit of a Rudy when they did that. But we'll go to articulation on the legs. Let's get the arms out way. Who knew a flap could bring so much joy? There you go. He can do the fall Van Damme. He can. He does have knee rotation. He does have past way double jointed knees way past 90 degrees there but um he does obviously at the ankle he can go up and down there because of the ball joint he can't go backwards so don't fall six you'll snap it but he can go there and his foot is on a wiggly waggly ball joint the only thing i would have liked to know it's a bit of a pig these should be silver on his feet these two horns i just wish they'd been silver but never mind a little bit of paint or a little silver marker you could probably do that yourself but that's that and as you can see he came with his iconic weapon that he used in the original show it's nice to give us these figures because at the end of the day they didn't actually appear in the kingdom show and he was one of the best characters i mean if you've watched beast wars and a lot of people haven't because they know they go truck not monkey yeah but he's a different character he's not optimus prime he's optimus primal get with the program grow up move with the times all that stuff but uh, everyone's allowed their own opinion, and that's fine. But me, I'm not bothered. I love the Beast Wars, and I love the G1, and further on so forth, Prime and everything. But as you can see, uh, what was I going to say? I totally lost track of what I was going to say. He has got his iconic weapon. And as, you, as I was saying, that was it. And Pterosaur, if you see when the Transmetal War began, he drops into the lava and he glows. So he was turning into a Transmetal. So why wasn't he in the show? Don't know. But the fact is, they made all the figures for him, saying he was a Transmetal Pterosaur, but they didn't give us him, which was stupid. He was a good character. He was their version of Starscream. But, you know, it's good. But you could also say Tarantulas, Tarantulas was that as well. But uh, as you can see... He can go, he sees Air Razor, he's like, I'm going to kick your ass, bang, she's dead. Or he can use his boner flap, Whee! oh my god, it's a female bot, Whee! <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> whatever you want to do, it's your thing, do it as you wish. I won't judge, I won't judge. But for some reason, see here on the back of his feet, He's got there. You can, you know, weapon storage. It's an option on both legs. Does hinder articulation a little bit, but if you want to store it when he's stood on a shelf, you don't want his gun in his hand, or if you're a child playing with it, and you want to have him like that, then do as you wish. But it's like this. He comes with the gold disc, but he can't really hold it. Excuse me, other than right in front, like that. Do you know what I mean? So it's six of one, two of the other. But he's definitely, definitely a good figure, and I recommend him. So I'm going to give you my final thoughts now, the pros and cons, and I'll come back to you. Hope you'll join me. Yeah. Hello, and welcome back. Now time for my final thoughts. So I paid, I think it was like £25, £27 for him because he was pre-ordered including postage i am glad i got him because i wanted terrasaur for my collection he's gonna look good in my collection but as i said the negatives the wing jux hasbro qc it's not in demand's fault i was going to send it back and say look you know i want one that's not falling apart but for the fact that it's just going to be displayed as a robot i'm not going to cause them guys a headache they do enough for us fans we weren't for people like kapow comics and cocktails Jurassic Toys, In Demand, all these local and many others that are available, if I can't remember them right now. Robot Recruits, all them. There's loads of them that are independent and they're keeping our fandom alive. Other than Smiths and the odd thing now in Amazon, on Amazon and Argos, we wouldn't be able to keep getting these things. So thank you guys, we appreciate it. So I'm not going to cause them a headache by saying, oh yeah, you know, I've got an issue. But there is some QC issues, which were similar, similarly, similar, similar, the similarities, can't get the bloody words out for this character, you know what I mean? I mean, I love this character, Air Razor. I didn't really have any issues that I could think of, apart from this annoying shoulder bit that kept coming down. Mine... 
was okay and I love it, it's a good figure, but they've obviously retooled that heavily to get us this beast, and I'm glad. But, like, I'm guessing they're going to do a bigger, chunkier retool of uh, Black Arachnia to get us Tarantulas, which I'll be glad of also. But the fact of the matter is, Hasbro, please, please, sort your QC out. The peg on that wing is obviously too small, and it's not all the hole for the joint of the wing. It's either one or the other. They either make them... It's hit and miss. It's more... It's too tight, so it snaps, or it needs shaving. Like on, I think it was the grapple mold. The pegs on the back of the legs snapped. They learned on Inferno. They didn't learn some of the mistakes from Air Razor onto this one, onto this mold, which is very similar. Which is sad, but at the same time, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 because I love the character. I'm glad I've got it. It came with the golden disc. He's true to his original form. I'm happy, and I love that duty box. So the fact of the matter is, thank you for watching this. I definitely would recommend it. Just be careful when you're transforming it because obviously with a lot of Hasbro products lately, since they went all plastic, a lot of them just get churned out by a machine and the QC goes out the window. I haven't, I've had more good from Hasbro with this uh, range than I have negative. I mean, my Optimus Primal, he had tight joints. I had to use a bit of lubrication. Yeah, lubrication to... Uh, ease his plight but you know you're either too loose or too stiff <laughs> hey many a motto to live by <laughs> so hope you enjoy this uh this will probably be my last review before christmas unless i get uh i managed to snag i'm thinking of getting rodimus i mean i'm waiting for tigertron i mean i was going to cancel pre-order i had and just with the same company and just pay for the import one but then i thought why should i pay an extra 10 11 quid just get it early because then it's just crapping on the little guy they're messing him about i'm not doing that so i'm going to wait for in demand and hold steady they've got the import stock but to review it i'm going to wait till the rest of us all get tigertron because it's not right to keep cancelling joining cancelling it's not fair it's messing them about and they're just trying to earn a buck or a pound dollar Potato, what a potato, 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 whatever you want to call it. But thank you very much for watching this review. I think this will probably be my last review, like I say, before Christmas. So, for all the support you've given me since I started the channel, I mean, it's been going, blooming heck, it's been going for nearly two years now. So, thank you very much. And for all your support in 2021, thank you very much love and respect to you all thank you for following me joining me as i say join the facebook group same name hoppers prime reviews please feel free to join the tiktok and also please feel free to drop in comments or if you're an independent sale company out there or you're a toy company or anybody out there even an average joe if you've got something that you'd like me to review and be honest and careful and i will try and you know be as honest as i can if you've got something out there you want reviewing i'm more than happy to take that on board so just drop me a comment below and we can talk. If you just want to say hello, that's good too. But as I say, I'm wishing you, this is John Bart Hobbins Prime Reviews, wishing you a Merry Christmas and a happy, healthy, prosperous New Year. See you in 2022. Take care. Bye-bye.